the people that have made a difference on the planet. When a John F. Kennedy said, we will go to the moon in the next decade, he spoke it. That was a commitment and people shared that vision. People bought into that. We've had all kinds of examples in history where people have made declarations, who have committed their lives to bring about a difference. There are people who are taking a stand today against hunger. I guarantee you it will be a part of our past at some point in time. Someone took a stand against polio. It no longer plagues us as it once did. Because someone said, it is my commitment to eradicate it from the face of the earth. Someone made the commitment. The reason that we're here and enjoying the democracy that we have. Someone made a commitment that whatever is required, if it means that I die, I remember Paul Robeson, here I stand for, I can do no other. And that's how you must be. Commitment means standing up for your life. It means honoring yourself. It means, it means beginning to say and to, to see and recognize your alignment and oneness with the universe. And that you are a channel for life to express through. And we short-circuit it with anger. We short-circuit it with fear. We short-circuit it with, with envy. We short-circuit it by being lazy or apathetic or giving up easily. Why, why, why? We say, oh, it's too hard, it's too hard. We don't challenge our spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, there's nothing as powerful as the human spirit. You can't destroy it. You can pervert it, but you can't destroy it. And so what are some of the things that can can fortify us and, and give us the kind of inner strength that will allow us to forward ourselves into the future by manifesting our commitments. Number one, commitment means in some cases going back to school, getting some training, sitting up in classes with people younger than you, putting yourself in a position where you don't know and that is awkward and uncomfortable, but because of your commitment to develop yourself or to go back to school to get a high school diploma or to get a college degree, that it doesn't matter, feeling dumb and saying, what am I doing here, setting up in some boring class? Commitment can mean a lot of things. It could mean that you begin to go back. You gotta back up sometimes. It means to back up and not give up, to regroup, back up and regroup and come back again because life has waylaid you, because you got knocked down. I know when, when I was working on my dream, there were times I, I lost my house at one point, I lost my car, I was broke, my credit was bad, I was sleeping at different friends' houses on their couch or on the floor. There were times, months, that I slept on the floor of my office and got up early and dressed before my staff got there to give them the impression that I got there early before they did. <laughs> and we all pretend not to know what we knew, that the boss was staying in the office. <laughs> so we never talked about it. But I refuse, I refuse to give up on my dream. And what happens, they say, you know, in the prosperous years, you put it in your pocket. In the lean years, you put it in your heart. It makes me appreciate it even more. Even more. I, I wouldn't trade it. I wouldn't trade it for anything. The disappointment, the pain that I've gone through by keeping the commitment. Keeping the commitments that you have might mean taking a stand that's, that's unpopular. Something was said one time. When you take a position, it says cowardice asks the question, is it safe? Politics asks the question, is it popular? But conscience or commitment asks the question, is it right? And see, most people rather operate from the first two. Is it safe for me to take this position? I remember when I was a state legislator, I saw guys and, and, and women who believed in legislation very strongly, but because the Speaker of the House said, we won't go with that, they backed down. And they felt bad about it. They wouldn't take the position because they didn't want the Speaker of the House to be angry at them. They wanted to be all right with all of the rest of our colleagues. See, it takes a great deal 
of strong courage and commitment on your part to step out a line to, you know, Henry David Thoreau says, if a man doesn't keep pace with his companions, perhaps he's listening to the beat of a different drummer. Let him dance to the music that he hears, however measured or far apart. When you are committed, you're dancing to the beat of a different drummer. Don't expect people to understand you. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this why you have got to go why you leave this is a good job i'm going they pay you well i'm going you just a few years from retirement i'm going why i don't understand you don't have to this creed and i like this says promise yourself i changed it to commit yourself because i think that commitment has more power than promise it says commit yourself to be so strong that nothing can disturb your peace of mind to talk health, happiness, and prosperity to every person you meet. To make all your friends feel that there is something in them. To look at the sunny side of everything and make your optimism come true. To think only of the best, to work only for the best, and expect only the best. To be just as enthusiastic about the success of others as you are about your own. To forget the mistakes of the past and press on to the greater achievements of the future. To wear cheerful countenance at all times and give every living creature you meet a smile. To give so much time to the improvement of yourself that you have no time to criticize others. To be too large for worry, too noble for anger, too strong for fear, and too happy to permit the presence of trouble. Commit yourself to these things. Isn't that powerful? What a commitment to make with your life. Commit yourself to stretch. To get outside of your comfort zone. And not be concerned about what people think about you. Because they're thinking it anyhow. <laughs> Don't worry about what they will say. They're already saying it. So what do you care? Decide that, that your life has so much meaning to the planet. Decide that you have something to give. That's why you're here. So you didn't just show up. You brought something here. You're on a journey. You have a destination, mission to achieve, to do, to implement, to perform, to experience. Decide to commit yourself to be an adventurer in life. Look out on life around you. Look within yourself and say, where is it in my life that I need to make a commitment right now? Where is it that it might be for your health? It might be to be a happier person. It might be to make a difference in your community. It might be that. Where is it? I say that commitment shows up and the man or woman who has some idea, some, some dream that they've been nurturing within themselves and no one believed it no one saw it for them that they weren't masters at it they weren't experts at it no one would build a statue and ever call their name and recognize them they never made it to the front page of the newspaper but they had something that was theirs something that that was their baby something that they loved and, and they believed in and they just did what they could with what god gave them with their dream Commitment shows up, and people that are willing to give themselves a chance, who look at their lives, look within themselves and say, I know, I know that, that this just cannot be it for my life. I know that there's, there's something I'm supposed to do. I don't know right now. Or maybe you do know. Maybe you do know, and you've talked yourself out of it. And I understand that, because I, I I'm, I'm late. I've, no, no, no. Everything happens as it should. I, I got the courage to step out, to, to become committed. I was, I was seriously not serious before. And I decided it took me some time to build up the courage to become committed because it frightened me. So I understand wrestling with it. I wish I can tell you I've been doing this for 20 years. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I'm just glad that, that I decided to become committed before I left here. And wherever you are, decide that you're going to commit your life now. And let it show up in your contribution. Let it show up in what you have to share.